Hello, everybody. I say that as if I had a bunch of viewers already. I don't, but not yet. Anywho, today's thought. Um, something that came to mind as all of us are in quarantine and trying to, you know, uh, keep to ourselves, you know, that distancing and all that fun stuff. Uh, yeah, it's annoying me too, believe it or not. Um, if you're about to pick up your phone to text a friend or uh, somebody that might have been more than a friend that you just did not have a healthy relationship with, one, I don't suggest doing it because if you're doing it because you feel lonely and you want that hug or the cuddles or the, the whatever, whatever it is you're searching for, um, if you're doing it based off your feelings, don't pick up your phone to text them. Do something else on your phone or don't pick up your phone at all. Go and find something else to do. There are other things out there to do. I know it's beyond a lot of you to be able to pick up a book and read, but that is probably the most helpful thing you can do currently. So uh, just an extra thought there. Um, and yes, I am insulting a bunch of my generation specifically and even the ones above me. They don't read that much either. They're like, oh, I used to read back in my day in comparison. Well, in comparison to me, yeah, you used to read, but in comparison to the people before you, you ain't read boo. So uh, yeah, don't be, yeah, don't. Don't be shaming me for not reading if you're not. Anywho, whole nother thought there. Don't be making a decision based off your feelings, okay? So if you're feeling lonely and you're feeling like you want this and you're feeling like you want that, so you can decide to text them and try and make up for whatever went wrong or what you said wrong or what they did wrong or I don't know what the case is for you, okay? But I do know this. It's not worth it. Don't do it because you're making a decision based off the most unstable thing in your life, your feelings, okay? I'm not saying you should make it based off common sense because even that uh, isn't as stable as some of us might think. Uh, but then you're like, well, dude, if I'm not going to make it based off my feelings or common sense, then what do I got left? Your heart, okay? First, I need you to do a self-assessment and be able to find out where your heart's at and what you really want, why you want it, and those very important things. And then I need you to actually follow your heart. Your heart is not your feelings. Don't get those two confused. They are closely correlated because your heart reacts to a lot of what you feel, but that's not what your heart is trying to tell you to do. Your heart feels it and then tells you what to do with those feelings, okay? But you need to get very in tune with yourself to be able to understand your heart. Your brain is there to help your heart it is not there to control it okay the heart controls the brain not the other way around I don't care what the scientists have to say about that because the first thing that started actively working in your body before you were even born was your heart okay it grew your brain so sure the brain might be signaling it now but that's because every servant has got to ask the master what I'm supposed to do today so keep that in mind the brain is the heart's servant not necessarily talking uh, entirely about talking to the, the the pump in your chest. Okay, I am talking something a little more in depth there And I want you to understand that there are self-assessment questions You have to ask yourself in order to know one where you're at why you're where you're at and what it is You really want to do um, Why it is you haven't been doing that what's been keeping you from it? Why you've been doing those things that have been keeping you from it, you know, just go deep in asking yourself these questions and answering them and digging up stuff from your conscious and your subconscious to be able to know who you are and why you're about to text whoever they are about whatever the problem is, okay? Don't be doing any of that. Uh, reason for it is, uh, again, you'd be making a decision based off the most unstable thing in your life, your feelings. I'm not saying you shouldn't feel. I'm saying that when you feel something like that, you need to ask yourself why you're feeling that and why you can't feel differently about it. Okay, so let's say you're feeling sad about a situation. Why are you feeling sad about the situation? Well, because they did this. Okay, why does that make you sad? Does it make you sad because you accidentally hurt their feelings because they hurt your feelings? So it's a it's a problem of pride. Uh, you need to figure out what it is that's going on that's making you feel that way. That's where the brain comes in because it can help the heart do that. And then you need to go to your heart and ask it what it is you're supposed to do. Okay. Now understand that everybody's heart has got a guide, an either positive or negative guide. My positive guide is my guide. Okay. Uh, my negative guide is actually two. I have two negative guides. Me and... Uh, you, you know, what everybody would call God's opposite. Um, I just call him his opponent. Uh, 
is the devil. Uh, because th those two, my human nature agrees with the negative nature of this world, unfortunately. So it's a hard fight for me, but I got a great God, a great guide, and he's put a map inside me for what I'm supposed to do, how I'm supposed to do it, and what I need to do. The feelings is that human nature, okay? And you got to fight that human nature. You got to whip it into shape. If you really do have self-love and you love yourself, then you have discipline. Discipline is self-love. If you actually love yourself, you will discipline yourself. You will ask yourself why you're feeling these things. You'll figure out what you're about and you'll get at it. Um, just wanted to get at that today and let you guys know kind of what I was thinking. So let me know your thoughts on my thoughts and then we'll just have a whole bunch of thoughts going around. That ought to be fun. All right. Uh, you guys have a good one. Stay blessed. Stay unstoppable. Um, and... Stay positive forever and always.